So today I have noticed some things. The sky is bluer, the sun is shinier, and the world is even brighter than before. That's what happens the day after a storm. And as difficult as it was, I have weathered my own. I have bundled up, asked myself the tough questions, grappled with personal lessons, and, well, you know that old saying, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger? I am Emma Woodhouse, and now I am unstoppable. Helping my sister Izzy work through her problems with John reminded me of something very important that I almost forgot. I have a gift, and it is my duty to share it with the world. I have been put on this planet to make people's lives better, and that is what I do. To stumble is human, but to recover and run at full speed? Now that's heroic. Oh, hi Emma. I took some time this morning to look up some prospective new clients. There you go! Way to take the initiative! I want all the clients. We need to push that pedal to the floor. Let's throw a party. A party? N now? More like an intimate gathering. High quality attendees, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, you know. I think so. We can invite all those prospective clients and any others you find. It will be the perfect opportunity for me to introduce myself to the people that need me. That's a great idea. Do we want an open bar? Obviously. Nothing like a little social lubricant to get people to reveal personal problems, and that's where we come in. Harriet, find a place that can host us. Absolutely. Hello. I couldn't help but over here. You can never help but over here. A party? More like an intimate gathering. With an open bar. And hors d'oeuvres. We aren't savages. That sounds expensive. Who's paying for this? We are. It's the perfect environment to get new clients. And we can celebrate our most recent client victory. You did a good job with Izzy and John, but they're not your clients. They are our siblings. Hence the celebration. Family love. And love is all they need. We, on the other hand, shouldn't be spending money that we don't have. Money follows success. Have you ever even looked at our Q4 profits and losses? Yeah, oh, they look great. Lots of numbers mean lots of money. Yeah, lots of numbers may mean lots of money, but in our case, it means lots of money being spent. It shows we're bold and fearless and- a and... company that hemorrhages finances. Ugh, such a downer. Okay, Mr. Knightley, I see what you want me to do. You do? It's not gonna be as appealing to our guests, but I'll have Harriet make it a cash bar. Emma? Yes? I need you to make someone's life better. A, a friend. Really? I I'd love to. I need you to meet with Maddie Bates. <laughs> oh my god, you're serious. I'm already on her email list of daily inspirational quotes. How much better of a friend could I possibly be? Despite what you think, she actually has a lot of useful information to share. Uh, about homemade jams, maybe? She's actually really good with the numbers. And that's why you're here. To share numbers with her. Didn't you meet with her last week? Yes, and we were going over our company's expenses for the fourth quarter and she had some really innovative ideas on how we could become more efficient. Wow, is it me or did it just get really boring in here? Emma, I think you- Look, you business, me creative. Don't blur the boundaries, division of labor works. You remember the industrial revolution. Do you even know the bad things that happened because of the industrial revolution? I, you know, forget it. Maddie's business is going through a bit of a slow period right now. Okay, and? And she's depressed about it. It doesn't help that you keep canceling on her lunches. I think a chat with you would really cheer her up. Alex Knightley, look at you trying to help people. I must be rubbing off on you. Well, you do set a pretty strong example. Hmm. So you want me to meet with Maddie and make her life better? Yeah, just listen to her and hear what she has to say. Oh, I see your game, Alex Knightley. Game? What game? There's no game. You want me to listen to Maddie so that I will learn how to be more financially responsible. Why do you even try? I'll admit that that would be an added bonus, but she really does need the help. Look, if this is about her business, that's your department. Yeah, I might know the business, but you are the one that helps people. See? Isn't it better when we stick to what we're good at? Maximize efficiency and division of labor, industrial revolution! So you'll do it. Yes. And then we'll throw our party? Fine. But one more thing. You know Maddie. She doesn't like to ask for help. Of course. You know it's my specialty to help people who can't ask for it. That is, if you're sure she needs it. I am. So we good? She won't even know I'm helping. <laughs>